you have a special oh, yeah. <coughs> if you don't mind, um, what do you want to talk about? Um, what do you well, think? The, the performance yeah. is supposed to be what I want you to talk about. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not okay, it's okay. <laughs> ba basically, I would invite people to talk about uh, either about their a conception of masculinity, uh, but that could be an anecdotal, a story about your, your own life, maybe about your father or siblings, or, or you could just talk about society or just how you feel. Um, but if we're recording for a different purpose, we can... No, we don't. Right, for any kind of purpose. Okay, cool. The recording is only for, for the just... The okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Just for display uh, purposes okay. in, on the internet. That's okay, it. cool. <clears throat> or you could you could also talk about me if you want to ask me No, 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 no. I don't want to. I just... I hate that actually. Okay. We don't want to do a documentary on Zachary. Okay, it's great. Um, but the funny thing is that I thought about you as a, um, a very, yeah, um, how can I put it? Um, what do you think does it mean to be Jewish? To be Jewish? Yes. I would imagine it means a lot of things, but I'm not Jewish. Well, you but you have a very Jewish, um, not a very, you have a Jewish kind of humor. In your it's in, okay. That's what I love a lot about them. So, um, I thought just um, if I were to talk about something uh, video, I would just kind of um, talk about what, is, what it could mean to you to, to be Jewish, because you said you, you actually don't have, you don't have you nothing to do with it. Well, not uh, actually not totally. Uh, when I first met my husband, he was in seminary, he was becoming a minister, and then he, he ended up being a minister for a number of years, and then he actually left the church and he was very good friends with a, a rabbi uh, in our city and he actually converted to Judaism. Oh. And yeah, and he's, Amazing. he's yes. extremely brilliant man, he's very good at languages and he, he, I don't know that he's fluent in, in Hebrew, but he, um, he was very, uh, very much a part of the community very quickly. And, uh, I was around a, a lot of people in the Jewish community, and I went to a lot of events. And, um, yeah, I really appreciated the community, um, much more so than uh, my, my own kind of community of origin, uh, religious community anyway, uh, which was Roman Catholic. Uh, of course. I don't really appreciate Roman Catholicism at all. Um, but what I appreciated about the Jewish community was that there was no proselytizing, there was no, come on, come and be a Jew, like, in a yeah. lot of, you know, if you are a community of a church, and you know, a lot of um, Christian communities are, um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, they proselytize, they try to uh, convert. <laughs> and that didn't happen, um, and I really appreciated that. But um, I also appreciate the, the Jewish sensibility around humor. <laughs> so I take it as a real compliment that you, you think my work is, yes. has like yes. a, a Jewish sensibility. Yes. Yeah. Just the softness combined with this very deep, almost, almost like kind of painful. Uh, <laughs> um, it's a combination of pain and yeah. softness. That's what, what uh, this uh, Jewish sense of humor is, means to me, actually. Well, I think that probably comes a bit from my mother, um, who again is Catholic, not Jewish. She had an affair with a rabbi. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so in your case, it was not the postman or the plumber, it was no, the rabbi. it was the rabbi, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Often, actually, you know, it's the, 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 the people in the community where, uh, where we were in Saskatoon had a really great sense of humor, too, because uh, if you know my artwork, you know that I have an uncircumcised penis, and <laughs> they often, you know, would jokingly talk about, you know, my conversion and what that would consist of. 
because of course then you so but um, so you and of the effects on your art of course no on me <laughs> but and when I converted <laughs> yes but you have not nothing to uh, to paint anymore in terms of like, pulling or dragging ah yes yes so yes yeah, 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 yeah yeah okay. I see, yes. We have a deep impact. In a deep impact, impact, yes. Oh, yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're very wonderful. Okay. So I just thought of it a little bit, because... Um, uh, being, no, 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 exactly being Jewish in terms of that I was a Jew, but um, uh, as a German, and of course, on the other hand, also as a Romanian, you have a lot to do in Europe with, uh, with the, the Jewish. Are you Jewish? No, I'm not. But I have, <laughs> I had a. Um, well, I, I, I tend to tell a joke about it. I'm, since I'm half Romanian, I am one eighth of a Jew from the father side. Okay. And why is that a joke? Or what does it mean? Because, okay, because, because you, I don't you can only be in, in the Jewish in the Jewish uh, heritage. You can only be a Jew uh, from the mother. Okay. Because the father is uh, not always unknown, but mother is certain. Yes, okay. So, yes. That makes perfect sense. Okay. So, Romanians, the Romanians have a very, very, very strange, uh, very different kind of anti Semitism uh, than the Germans. They kind of uh, look up to the Jews like they were the better themes of the better. Uh, okay. And um, I met that a lot of times when talking to. to it's almost like a positive stereotype. It is a yes, but it still it still is um, it is positive, but only in, in uh, yeah, positive still being negative. Yeah. Exactly. Like uh, all Asian people are good at maths. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Just exactly. Yeah. So yes, that's what I thought. Uh, okay. The one eighth is very far fetching from the father. It's totally possible. But it's a nice way to summarize. And on the other hand, of course, um, since I was a child or more a grown up, I, I just was always confronted with this, um, the Holocaust and, uh, yeah. in, in Germany. And, um, so it kind of became, um, became part of me. It's just kind of um, haunting me all the time. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, at the beginning, in a very in a more negative way because I didn't know how to deal with it. And now it's became very important. Even in, my, even, even in your work? work. Yeah, in, yeah, in my art. The last piece that I've done has, has to do with, with the Holocaust itself. So, uh, as I thought, yeah, you have a Jewish kind of humor type. You just ask the question, what does it mean to be a Jew? And someone who probably <laughs> is never read the Torah or the Bible. No matter you read the Bible. Uh, I've, I've certainly read portions of it, and I, I like. Uh, I often will use reference to different, uh, well, to a lot of different uh, literary references, but specifically the Bible or uh, Greek mythology. I often reuse and, uh, uh, stories uh, from both texts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because they're really interesting and really kind of gritty and. Um, if they're not, uh, if they're, I think if they're read um, intellectually rather than just uh, idiotically or literally, they're, uh, they're quite fascinating. Yeah. And they, I mean, they they talk about uh, human existence. And they, of course, they're interesting. Um, yeah. And they're funny. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of humor. They can be uh, terrifying and funny at the same time. This is great. This is a good challenge. Though. Wonderful. Did you bring these? We know they were in the fridge, so I just found them. They were looking for some some some, some, some other type of flowers. Yes, yeah. So, uh, so well, why not? It's more like vegetables. Edible flowers. Yes.